Health ministers from the East, Central and Southern Africa Health Community and other stakeholders have yet again reviewed the current achievements and challenges within the health sector and have made some resolutions. Renewing commitment to health workforce, best practices, innovations for improving quality of care in reproductive health, maternal, newborn and child health, as well as nutrition, enhancing diagnostic capacity in the region. Millennium Development Goals, one of ending poverty and hunger, three of gender equality, four and five of child and maternal health, as well as six of combating HIV and AIDS, remain at the center of the focus to tackle health. Health ministers in the region have two main challenges, that of having no workforce and of having no funds. Tanzania's health minister, Dr. Hussein, is not ready to let this shadow other achievements in the health sector. In Tanzania, we do have a shortage of about 49%. What we have actually is only 51% of what is required. We are now uh, increasing the uh, production of, of uh, health workers. Uh, we have increased the intake of our colleges. Uganda and Swaziland are working towards signing a memorandum of understanding that will sit to an exchange of doctors. Currently, I've got doctors who are studying at uh, the university there. I think it's Makerere University. Also, we do have Ugandan doctors in Swaziland. So now, as a region, there should be no brain drain. The Exa Health Community Ministers see a need for exchange of the workforce. There's need to increase motivation of our health workers. There's need to recruit and retain. I'm very happy about the progress in the health sector. So is Tanzania's minister. We've been able to decrease the uh, child mortality rate, especially under five and uh, infant mortality rate as well. We have also done very well in uh, malaria control. We've done extremely well in the fight against HIV AIDS, with now the prevalence rate going down from 10 to 5.7. Talking of HIV, it is a challenge causing a huge burden on the health sector in the region. In Swaziland, one of the countries with the highest HIV prevalence at about 26%, effort has been taken to ensure that no person living with HIV and AIDS is on a waiting list for drugs. Currently, we have got a very strong program uh, on antiretroviral drugs where the government is buying all the drugs. Our program on prevention of mother to child is really doing very well. Currently now, 96% of our babies born by HIV mothers, they are born HIV negative. Which is Uganda still struggles to regain its glory days of being the champions at reducing the AIDS scourge. The 2011 Uganda AIDS indicator survey shows that the prevalence rate is rising. But like Swaziland, strides are being made in reducing new infections, especially amongst the newly born. To the WHO Director of Reproductive Health and Research, Dr. Michael, the progress, however, has been slow and uneven in terms of handling maternal health. The fact that you have countries like Sweden, where they can go for more than 20 years without seeing a woman die during pregnancy or childbirth, means it's possible to save a woman's life. He has advised the health ministers on what to do. Invest in the girl child, both in terms of education, both in terms of access to care. We need to look into the issue of skilled attendance at delivery. We need to look at legislation that governs termination of pregnancy. Another main issue is nutrition, whereby about 40% of the children under five in the region are stunted. Zimbabwe's minister is calling upon involvement of other sectors, like agriculture, saying that the ministries of health alone cannot address nutritional issues. Once we have adequate supplies of food, uh, people must know what to eat, how to feed their babies. We start from early in infancy. We talk about exclusive breastfeeding and we go on. In fact, we start even before the baby is born. In Malawi, what we've done is um, we've fortified our sugar. We've put this vitamin A in all the sugars we buy in Malawi. So it's one of the things that can avoid stunting. All interventions are even need money. According to the 2001 Abuja Declaration, governments were told to increase their annual health budgets to 15% by 2015 to improve health. Uganda has not even gone close to two figures. 
Zambia is at 11.3 percent and Tanzania has faltered a little. Uh, last uh, few years we were at uh, 12 percent. Unfortunately this uh, financial year we've gone down to 11.4. The government of the United Republic of Tanzania has donated a 30 acre piece of land on which Exa Health Community is to develop a center for health for the region. Other resolutions made by the ministers are towards recognition and rewards for works of excellence in the region, even to health journalists. Expressing gratitude to partners of the EXA Health community like USAID, the Population Council and WHO was also one of them. The EXA Health Community Secretariat will continue to undertake its mandate with activities such as technical assistance to member states and development of regional policies on health issues for adoption and adaptation. Florence Nalimba, NTV.